how to get more reviews on Amazon using ManyChat. If you're an Amazon seller and you're trying to increase your order volume and trying to increase your rankings, then you need to be looking at reviews and getting more of them. So in this video, we're gonna cover a couple strategies on how to do just that, how to get it in a safe way and how to actually build multiple assets at the same time. More about that safe way though, it's very important. We got a quick disclaimer for you. You wanna to try to keep your sales between 10 and 15 per one review that you get so that you can fly under the radar of the Amazon A9 algorithm police so that we can more so camouflage those reviews that we're pulling in. Yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, I'm Ian Smith and this is Ryan Horst and I wanted to tell you about a free resource that we put together for you. It's called the five messenger bots your Amazon business cannot scale without. Okay, so to get access to this 100% free resource, head over to zonuniversity.com. Okay, in this area, once you opt in, you're gonna get access to a free video where we're gonna be covering all the information that you need to know about the five messenger bots, as well as a free PDF download. And then you also may have a couple of free mystery bonuses, hint, hint, templates, mm. or other stuff. You know, good stuff that's free, bonuses, inside that area. So head over to zonuniversity.com to get access to that free resource right now or after this video. But make sure you keep watching till the end of the video because we're gonna show you how to change a customer review that's negative into a positive review. So in order to get reviews, you gotta get the sales because no sales equals no reviews, just like how no reviews equals no sales. So how are we gonna get those sales? Facebook ads. So you run Facebook ads, you tell a whole bunch of people about your product, how amazing it is, you give them an irresistible offer, like give it to them for free by running like a rebate funnel, or you can give them a deep discount, whatever you need to do to actually drive the sale. Now, a little strategy that I would recommend there is using links like Pixelfy, pixelfy.me or just Google Pixelfy. Basically, when you create an Amazon link using this link generator platform, it's gonna open the Amazon app for people. So I always recommend that, okay? Now, another way that you can get traffic and get purchasers is by using a platform called Rebate Key. So Rebate Key allows you to either give away products for free or for cheap. Okay, so rebate key, right? So rebate is in the word, that's what's basically happening is you're sending people to buy your product on Amazon and then they are rebating them after 30 days or so, sending them a check. It, usually it's 100% off, like you give them a full uh, refund or you can give them a portion and so they can just basically get a discount. Mm -hmm. So rebate key is a pretty good one. I also recommend using messenger bot flows and um, getting them into your messenger bot. That way you're building your messenger bot. If you're gonna give them a kind of discount um, or something for free, might as well get them into the messenger bot, get that, that email address. That way you start building up those assets and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, what you have, you can do family and friends. Uh, we do strongly recommend you stay within the 10 to 15 uh, sales to the, re to the one review with that one because it is technically against Amazon TOS when you're doing family and friends. Anybody that has an incentive or a reason or connection with the seller is usually kind of a gray area. Yeah, we yeah, want to be yeah. careful there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just be careful there. Then of course, Amazon PPC ads. You can always go, go ahead and do that. And then there's the social media influencers. Mm -hmm. And one great resources that we recommend using for this is called famebit.com. You can go there, you can create a campaign, and then you'll actually have social media influencers contact you based off that campaign. And then you can give them the go ahead and then pay them straight through there. So that's just a couple of examples of how you can drive some purchases. Cause again, you can't get reviews without purchases and you can't get purchases without reviews or organic purchases mm -hmm. without reviews. So once the sale has been made, it's your job to make sure that you pick up as many reviews as possible on the back end. My personal favorite way to do that is by t putting package inserts inside all of your Amazon products. So that the first thing they see when they open up that Amazon box is a package insert with a call to action of some sort. And we have so many different air ways to like incentivize them to get into that package insert and follow whatever that call to action is. And you can get that by going to zonuniversity.com. Yep, so be sure to go to zonuniversity.com. Have we said zonuniversity.com? You should go there. Okay? Make sure you go to zonuniversity.com. <laughs> 
And okay. Did, yeah. Okay, yeah. anyway, so yeah. <laughs> Facebook retargeting ads is the next back-end way to contact them, right? So when you run your Facebook retargeting ads, you need to be able to target your current Amazon customers. And the best way to do this is by using a software called Zon Hero. You can get access to this by going to getzonhero.com. Basically, what this software does is it allows you to import data, Amazon data, from Amazon into Facebook and then Facebook is gonna to try to match that data with user profiles. Usually the match rate is anywhere from 75% to 90%. Okay, so you're gonna export out your Amazon fulfillment reports, then go to the Zon Hero uh, website and upload those reports and that's gonna go over to your Facebook pixel. You'll be able to target your Amazon customers with Facebook ads. You'll be able to track your conversions as you run those ads to see um, who's turning into customers and all that kind of stuff. So really the main way you wanna use your Facebook retargeting ads though, is to get them into a messenger bot, okay? So you wanna incentivize them to get into your messenger bot by either giving them a discount, running a giveaway, saying they can enter to win something. And in these uh, type of message flows, you can get their email address, you obviously get them as a messenger bot subscriber, you can get them as a customer by giving them a discount, you know, 30% off, something like that. So Facebook ads are a huge way to get them into the messenger bot, and then in the messenger bot flow, you ask for the review. But hold your horses. <laughs> Don't get that review too fast. Those Amazon A9 algorithm police are looking for you. <laughs> They're on the hunt. The dogs are loose. They're coming for you. So what you want to do is you want to try to wait. You want to make it look, seem like it's a legitimate thing, because it is a legitimate thing. Nobody is going to be able to know exactly their, their opinion on a product in one day. So you want to make sure you give some time there. Wait about seven to ten days before you ask for that review so that you, once again, fly into that radar. Yeah. So if you want to play it completely safe, 15 to 20 days, maybe even 30 days out, you want to then have your timing set up with your messenger bots and your, or even your retargeting ads. Like maybe you mm -hmm. want to even exclude out of your audiences all the people who've bought within the last 30 days. Then on day 31, they start seeing your Facebook ads, pushing them into the messenger bot, pushing them into that review message flow that you have set up. So that's a pretty safe way to go about asking for reviews because once you start to get reviews, you don't want to raise any flags with the uh, A9 police. Yeah, they'll get you. All right, so you've gotten the sale. Now you've gotten them in your message bot. Now is the time to actually ask them for the review. So we're gonna give you three tips on actually writing that copy and getting them to give you a review. So the first tip is to make sure that you're emphasizing to your customers that you are a small business and that you're heavily reliant on honest reviews. Sometimes these customers can get caught up in the whole big business Amazon thing that they forget that all these, these companies selling on Amazon aren't big businesses. What's the second one? So the second one is to filter reviews. Now, full disclosure, uh, <laughs> this is against TOS, so it's on you of how you wanna go about filtering them, but basically, once you got them into the messenger bot, you can ask them a basic question like, hey, what's your opinion on our products? Do you love them? Do you think they're all right? Do you dislike them? Now, you give them those three options, maybe they're just three buttons. Now, the bottom two buttons that say they're eh, or say that they don't like them, maybe that links over to customer support so you can try to turn that around and make them happy, maybe give them a free product or try and figure out something there, right? Now, the other option, if they loved it, then you wanna prompt them, if they say they loved it, then you wanna say, hey, we would love it if you share that feedback with our other folks on Amazon to tell people about your opinion of us. So then you link those people directly to Amazon. You can use a smart link, uh, a link that's gonna basically auto-create and pre-fill a rating, a five-star rating or review for you. So I definitely recommend using a smart link. Mm -hmm to actually you know, drive them over to Amazon, and I definitely recommend using Pixelfy so that it opens the Amazon app. Another good thing to use is amazon.com slash RYP, review your purchases, what that stands for. It will automatically send them to an Amazon link that has all of the most recent purchases that they've made. Yeah, so um, it's kind of like their orders, right? It's like yeah, linking exactly. them directly into their orders. And then allows yeah. them to leave quick reviews on those orders. Yeah, so that's a good way to, so, um, you, you basically, you ask them, you know, how do they feel about it? Then you hit them with the link if they give you mm -hmm. a positive review. So what's the next one? The next one is instead of sometimes, instead of asking if they have enjoyed the product or not, you can actually ask them if they would recommend it to a friend. Because if they would recommend it to a friend, then that would automatically assume that it's positive. And then you can capture that review 
And then you can add a viral mechanism to your messenger bot. So where you would send a messenger, this would be done inside of ManyChat as well, you would have them send a message right after they put that review in that would then say, since you said that you would recommend this to a friend, feel free to forward this message on to your friend and then you could include a link that goes directly to your product on Amazon. Yeah, so again, just recommend it to a friend, just basic copy saying, hey, would you recommend this our product to a friend? And then you can leave it at that. Yep, that's really all you need. So let's say you got a negative review. Maybe there was a misunderstanding. Maybe that's a picky customer. I don't know, it doesn't matter. All, of, all we know is that you need to get those negative reviews turn into a positive one if you can. And the best way to do that, there's two ways that we suggest. Simply reply to the review on Amazon. And a lot of times these people will, uh, you can get in touch with them because of that. And then you can email back and forth with them, get this whole thing resolved. And then nine times out of 10, they're gonna change that negative review into a positive review. And the other one is if they don't respond on Amazon and you can't get it resolved that way, you can just find their name and match it with an order name that you have and then contact them directly via email and try to get everything resolved through that way. Yeah, so there you go. There are a lot of tips and strategies on how to get reviews, how to get positive reviews, how to change negative reviews into positive reviews, how to get customers. So hopefully this video has been very helpful for you. If it was, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm in showing this video to more Amazon sellers just like you. It helps us reach more people, help more people, and ultimately give more value with zonuniversity.com. Head over there now. You should go to zonuniversity.com. Yeah. <laughs> go to Zon University. get access to our free digital download and video that we've created there. Again, teaching you the five messenger bots that every Amazon business needs to use in order to scale and get to the next level. If you're not using like more than one messenger bot right now, then you need to definitely go to Most Zon University. Most of you probably aren't using a messenger bot. Yeah, so there's some good stuff in zonuniversity.com. Head over there now. Again, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Later.